I don't know how much we'll need. Central processor. I thought such a fragile thing should be protected somehow, and not be just sticking out of the floor like this. I stick out and in however I want. There should be a voice control module of the station here, as well as its speech filters. Maybe that's why it keeps calling us names? Or maybe it's because you're a useless garment that keeps babbling too much. Rebecca Black, uh, Rebecca Black, Monday, 18 hours cycled. Okay. A famous song, although to be honest, I don't know much about music. So it's hard for me to be, to judge it. It's hard to listen to it, but it's even harder to judge. So this guy's game must have come out after Rebecca Black's Friday song. I feel like that is definitely a twist on that song. It's locked from the inside. see. Someone removed a protection from the processor and tried to connect it directly to the coffins. I don't know why anyone would want to run diagnostics on coffins, but the result is obvious. Melted data blocks from the coffins. Judging by the remains of the wires, the blocks were roughly torn out in a hurry, which means that the person who pulled them out was rough and in a hurry. I feel like Sherlock. <laughs> Central Processor Protection Control Console. Create and install the dome. No, something's wrong. The processor control panel. We can restart the whole station with it. Processor dome required. It looks like we'll have to remove the excess voltage first. Where do I create it? This door was locked from the uh, in from the other side. This door down here is just plain locked. These ones are locked. There's no doors there unless it's back on the ship. Okay, so non-conductive gel I've got, need four lead and two wire. Not aluminium. Need two more lead and two wire. I didn't take note of what was where. 
I just noticed that there was a lot of stuff all over the place. There's a wire, so two more lead. They have to be any. There's lead, one more. There we go. Oh, it's got storage here too. I only yes. just thought to look for storage. Please go to the reception. annoying they make me run back to the Normandy to craft it. like it then we're doing it right I don't know how you'll come to that conclusion what kind of people are you it looks like the unprotected processor was causing power supply overload this should help a little you better help yourself sweat smelling piece of junk It's not quite needed for the diagnostic station's work. It'd be better to turn it off somehow. These are the levers controlling the rotor's speed. I don't feel like there's going to be any more... Um, crafting I need to learn other than what they'll just straight give me It 
it's not working. You should first press the left one, then the right one, or maybe the middle one. There are too many combinations. I have no idea how anyone can guess the right one. Perfect. You managed to break the rotor. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, too bad it didn't hit you. Right? This looks like a passageway to the debugging compartment. Perfect. I see someone dead over there. Oh. Yeah, oh. I got a blaster. Looks like his head kind of exploded. I do get the feeling I might need that. There's something wrong here. I don't know what this dead man was trying to do, but the compensators shouldn't be under voltage. Why has he got one arm that's a skeleton? Alternative Engineering The book series in the footsteps of 50 shades Okay Another alternative methodology from another alternatively gifted author I remember reading this while trying to cure an unpleasant illness the illness quickly turned into two more illnesses and I had to urgently turn to traditional medicine. Less stuttering in its voice. Looks like everything is coming along all right. Where is I just realized repair tool broke, didn't it? in this situation before. If we fix these broken wires, we won't have to break the door. Probably. No power. Need the repair tool. Navigation chip, cool.
So... They're going to make me go back to... Why does this coffin have legs and arms? It's like those coffins in the death scene thing. I need repair tool, aluminium, refined metal, thick electric tape. Aluminium. Where is this aluminium? It has to be here. There we go. At least there's no stamina as well. I can just keep running. But it is so long. Such a long run. If I need them, I'll come back and grab one. Yes. Please go to the reception. I 
I don't know that I'll need the magnet tool anymore. Feels like it's just in this room, but it's locked. Filtration system. I believe that's one thing I needed for my ship. One more will do it. That's a good sign. Ugh, it has a toggle switch. Disgusting. Don't touch anything. This should help a little. Although touching a toggle switch, even to survive, I really don't know. Push my toggle switch to on. Ugh, push it to on. It was literally yeah. on the other side of that. It? I can't hear its angry babbling either. Looks like it's time to reboot the central processor. Just pushing the button? I take it you'll continue damaging the equipment until I run diagnostics? Well then, uh, the core of your shuttle is melting, the weapons are uncalibrated, passive defense is not installed, active defense is not installed. It's nothing but uh, a tin can. Happy now? Uh, I'll fix your engines and you'll get out of here. Okay. What's with the moaning? Or groaning. That's a good deal. And the only possible one. The diagnostic station is not designed for complex repairs at all. It's time to return to Normandy. By the way, maybe we could fast travel there. Yes. Sure. Hmm. We're still here. Uh. Apparently there's no fast travel in this game. We'll have to go back on foot. That's a shame. I picked out such a nice visual effect, such beautiful sounds, and such a nice loading bar. Have you seen it? I did see it. Such a long run. I would happily just fast travel back there. Oh, you're back already? It's done. By the way, you were saying something about going to the accelerating station. I want to inform you that without a friend or foe system, the protective systems of the liner's bow will destroy you. Good luck. I'm sure we won't last long without decent oh. repairs, so even the security systems won't be needed for the shuttle to fall apart. As for the friend or foe identification system, I don't know anything about it. Great, the engines are working, the life support system is working, the weapons are active. I can't assign to a
I thought I got the part I needed. I guess I don't need that part. By the way, the weapons calibrate themselves automatically when shooting at random targets. I have no idea where to look for everything else listed in the diagnostics, and therefore, I suggest exploring the nearest debris. That one is 800. What's that up ahead? I'm not mistaken, am I? Is it a fully functioning breath edge coffin with hands? We've already seen such coffins, but I doubted it until now. I shouldn't have said anything about the weapon. I have to worry about the illegality of the Ah, never mind. I can hit him from this far away. But it does look like the coffins stay. absolutely unimportant here. These weapons have a simplified artificial intelligence with a self burst and they simply adapt to the Got him. Looks like this is the debris of the liner's bow. It was the only part that contained unique observation modules with domed glass. How this glass survived the disaster is a mystery to me, but it would be nice to get inside, at least out of curiosity. There's no data on the passengers who lived in such modules, but ordinary people could definitely not afford it. I'm sure there's something interesting under this dome. There might even be a whole spaceship. Does look like something's here. We can dock here. Where? I 
I can't see where we can dock. Is it in the back? Here? Yep, there it is. I am probably thinking though, I have managed to get a lot done today. I don't know how much is left, whether it's one or two more streams, I don't know. We will be continuing on Thursday though. So, oh, I probably should click save just in case. There we go. It is now saved. 